What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Caps to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the best messages to resonate. Free general collective reading. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support of the channel. We're three away from 12,000 subscribers, so thanks so much for the love and support of the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay, so I received a channel, so I'm going to share it. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, the channel message I received was, um, um, oh, sorry, I had a brain fart. Ah, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, several family members from one's past, uh, estranged family members I heard, are going to try to come back soon. Um, and try to reconnect um, very angrily try to reconnect because very heavy ne negative karma is about to occur in their life um, it would be smart not to uh, engage with these people uh, for some of these people there are current co court orders um, keeping them away from you is what I heard so you plug it in how it resonates now for the ones with the current current court orders keeping them away from you in some shape, form, or fashion, um, you could have them arrested. You can have them arrested if they try to come around. And that's just the truth. <laughs> um, just being straight up. Um, if, the, there's a, if, if that resonates with you and there is a current court order keeping them away from you in some shape, form, or fashion, um, or I heard a current court order. It could be a protection order um, or an actual court legal order from the courts um saying hey you know in court paperwork or whatever what have you you can have them arrested you can have them arrested um uh, just for real if you might need to hear that um but whoever this is for it's a strange family member so it's people you have not spoke to i'm presuming in a while um probably a long while for some of you guys um is what i'm feeling I heard it's strange, so I'm thinking you have not communicated with them for good reason, probably for a long time. Um, I, now, how long? I don't know. It's different for everybody. Everybody. Everybody's on a different time in life paths. For some, it could be six months, six years, 60 years, 10 years, four years, three years, etc., etc. It could go on, but there's a reason you're not communicating with them, and I heard for good reason. Uh, so much so, there's legal paperwork in the universe right now for some of you guys to keep them away from you. I mean, it's that bad. Um, whether it's protection orders or actual paperwork in some kind of legal agreement in some shape, form, or fashion with the courts. Um, however that resonates. But um, I heard it would not be smart to engage with them. I heard they're going to be very angry because very heavy negative karma is about to hit for them. So they basically want to use you as a punching bag is what I'm presuming here. Um, I heard spiritual download, it would not be smart to engage. So it would not be smart to... Um, engage with these people of course you have free will and you can if you want but i heard it wouldn't be smart to engage so you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you um in whoever's life um wow i would be careful i would seriously be careful um anybody that knows my story i had to put out a lot of i put out my family actually i put out my family i have put out my family because they're toxic they are toxic and i've put them out for years um one of my sisters accused me of child abuse. I mean, it was that bad, which I'm not a child abuser. She accused me of child abuse. So you accuse me of child abuse. Do you ever seriously think in your right mind that I would ever, ever, ever communicate with you ever again? No, I would not. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's logic and reasoning 101 there. You know what I'm saying? Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Heard someone is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. Why? Why would I? I mean, if you're talking, if you're having a wake-up call about my situation or about the spiritual downloads or what have you, but why would I? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. Um, zero sense. You know what I'm saying? So that that's me. I can only speak on me. Um, but everybody's life situation is different is what I'm trying to say. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But whoever this is for you're going through it too with your family but you have cut them out you have done the healing and the shadow work and you have done the work and you've cut them out you've cut them out and um kudos to you but um 
you know, allowing toxic people back into your life is never a good idea. Just to let everybody know, allowing toxic people back in your life is never a good idea. And that's just the truth. If you cut them out for good reason, some of you guys so bad it's through the court system. Um, some of it could be protection orders. Why would you allow them back in? But I heard they're angry. They're angry because um, negative form is about to start hitting for them. So they want to use, you, I feel they want to use you as a punching bag, not a literal punching bag, but like a probably a verbal punching bag. For some, it could be physical. Um, you know, you plug it in, how it resonates. I mean, I've had a history of toxic family. Um, my brother tried to, tried to break into my home about four years ago when I was at work. Um, and I'm serious about that. Um, scared the crap out of, out of my kids. I mean, he broke, he attempted to break into my home. Drunk as a skunk. True story. Um, so, I mean, I have a history of toxic family. And my, that same brother used to live down the street from me. He doesn't need more, thank goodness, but he did. Um, so I have a history of toxic family is what I'm trying to say. I understand. Trust me, I understand. But you have to do what's best for you. And that's just the truth. Spirit messages you have with like Door to personal healing and happiness. Reverse heal the ages upright. Oh, this is like a contradiction, but we'll see what we hear. Number 34 or 51 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 34 or 51, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible date birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 34 or 51. For some, a very toxic Scorpio of the past, Scorpio masculine, is about to try to re-enter your life with communication. It would be smart to block this person immediately. If they continue, call the police. Oh my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, a very toxic Scorpio masculine in your past, I heard is going to try to attempt to communicate with you. Um, communicate, communication with you. So I don't know if that's in person. Well, I would assume not in person. It's, it's very toxic. It's a Scorpio masculine. Probably text or messenger or snail mail or email. Um, I heard it would not be smart to engage, so not smart to communicate back. And I heard if he continues, call the police. So whoever this very toxic Scorpio masculine in your past is, whoever this person is, and however you apply in this, if this resonates for you. Um, apparently he's done something horrendous to you in the past. Um, and he's going, to, he's going to try to communicate back with you. Um, Oh, dear Lord. He just needs to move on. That's what he needs to freaking do. And I'm serious about that. He just needs to move the freak on. That's what he needs to do. But, you know, you can't control people. We all know this. You can't control people and what they do. And if he tries to communicate back with you, you can only control yourself and not anybody else. Um, that's the truth. So, spiritual download in that was that would not be smart to engage. If he continues, call the police. So, you plug it in how it resonates. I sure wouldn't engage with that person. That's for sure. It's a very toxic Scorpio masculine in your past. It could be anybody. It could be a former co-worker, former lover, former um, pers uh, person you grew up with, former neighbor, former co-worker. I mean, the list could go on. Somebody of your past, if he has Scorpio in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hand, Jupiter, charts. I heard he's very toxic. So apparently he has not grew himself and learned um, from his, he hasn't he done his healing and shadow work. Um, we all mess up from time to time. We all mess up from time to time, but it's how you heal and grow yourself. It's how you do your healing and your shadow work. It's how you grow and manifest yourself and move forward in a positive motion. This person doesn't sound like they've done that. Uh, whoever this person is, um, this is at least for one of you guys in the universe, so you plug it in how it resonates. That could be the door to personal healing and happiness reverse. This toxic Scorpio masculine attempting to try to come back into your life. Um, I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some, you could already have protection orders on this person and I'm serious, or you could have the legal paperwork through the court system, to keep them away from you. Possibly. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, yikes.
Can you go with the H's upright? I was waiting to see if I heard anything else. You are a wonderful healer, a wonderful healer. You do wonderful things in the world. There was extreme jealousy in the past there of you, but soon people are about to speak the truth because they know it is imperative now. Legal situations are heavy, not only on you, but on them as well and the truth is about to be spoken and a lot of it very soon wow so you plug it in how it resonates so i heard you're a wonderful healer so you could work in the 3d or the 5d or both spiritual community everyday world or both you could be in healthcare profession you could be reiki healing you could be meditation um you could do um uh Ch um, chakra cleansing, um, spiritual, um, spiritual classes, um, et cetera, et cetera. Or you can work in 3D as like a healthcare professional or something of that nature. But I heard you're a wonderful healer, whatever you do and how that resonates. Um, and many people know this, but I heard they were extremely jealous of the past. So that I think they lied on you in the past. Community reversed. The community lied on you in the past because they were jealous of you. They were jealous of you. They didn't want you to get your blessings, basically. Um, and it sounds like they prevented them from some, for some of you guys. I, I, I strongly feel that. I feel they lied so heavy that they prevented your blessings. And they know they did. Um, but I heard you were in heavy legal issues right now. And it sounds like these people either are in heavy legal issues right now or they're about to come in heavy legal issues. Um, so they know it's imperative to speak the truth now. And I heard a lot of truth is about to be spoken soon and quickly. So... The, not only it's to it's they never wanted to help you to begin with but now it's becoming imperative to help you because it helps them to cover their ass basically so they didn't never want to help you to begin with but now it's about to become imperative to help you because it helps them which is sad but that is the way the world works um, unfortunately for some people now some people um, are not like that i am not like that if i do something i do it out of the goodness of my heart to help person, people, place, situation, um, period, you know, um, but some people are manipulators. They're heavy, heavy, heavy manipulators. I feel your community is very heavy. They're heavy ass manipulators. They know what they did to you, but they also know they need to cover their ass now. So they know it's imperative to speak the truth because it sounds like a lot of these situations have turned into criminal situations and it's imperative, it's imperative to speak the truth. So not only to covering their ass helps you basically covering their ass help covering their ass helps you um, is what I'm gathering from this. So you plug it in, how it resonate. I heard it's about the truth about to come out and come out quickly. So thinking woman reversed, they're about to do it quickly. They know they need to do it fucking do it quickly because now their ass is in legal issues, probably with the same people that they were um, covering for in the past. And these people have stabbed them in the back. A lot of these people have stabbed them in the back in a huge way. And karma is cycling around. Some it already has. Some it's about to. Oh, okay. It's confirmation. Okay. I heard a lot of these people have stabbed them in the back. So they have stabbed them in the back. Like tennis, uh, tennis wars in the back. Just like they did you in the past. But to cover their ass, they're going to... Say how great you are now and speak the truth on you now. But for some of you guys, years ago, they could have done it and helped you in a huge ass way and they never did it because they didn't want your blessings to come in. But now it sounds like it's about to be universally forced to cover, help cover their ass, basically, because these people have some have already stabbed them in the back. Some are about to. Um, so you plug it in, however, that resonates, uh, which is going to benefit you 
that's great, it's going to benefit you, but it should have benefited you when it at the beginning. But they wanted to create blockages, 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 because they were jealous of your ass. They wanted to secretly compete with you, which is freaking crazy, man. I'm sure you're not up there secretly competing with them. You most certainly were not. You most certainly were not, is what I just heard. You most certainly were not competing with them. That's confirmation, too. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy, but it is what it is. Um, you know, you can't, you can't control other people's actions, but you can't control yours. Um, I've been saying that on the channel for two years, and it's the truth. It's the truth. So, um, whoever you are, um, I feel you're Earth Angel. I feel you're Earth Angel, and I feel you have put a lot of good into the universe. Now, I'm not saying you're perfect, because none of us are perfect. But I do feel you have definitely grown and learned and um, healed yourself and done healing and shadow work, and you haven't put negative into the universe. You are really, truly putting positive into the universe. Um, and I feel you are being very um, mindful about that, um, whoever you are. And honestly, these people deserve the negative karma. They absolutely deserve it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Don't feel bad for them. I know some of you might want to feel bad for them, but don't feel bad for them because they really did it to their own selves. Um, and that's just the truth. But it sounds like in hindsight 2020, it's going to end up helping you. And thank God it's going to end up helping you. But it's because they chose the wrong people to associate with. It sounds like here. Um, some of them are about to be in legal issues. Um, some already are. So you plug it in how it resonates. A particular Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio. Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio. I was waiting to see if I heard anybody else. Okay, a particular Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio is about to start getting gang stalked soon. They never thought it would happen to them, but it is about to start happening to them. Oh my goodness. Uh, you plug it in how it resonates. And one of these people are going to be so aggressive, the cops might get called. And it will be turned around on them. Oh my goodness, you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio is about to start getting gang stalked. Now, I didn't hear if they're masculine or feminine. It could be you getting gang stalked or somebody you're connected to. So kind of Libra, Aquarius, and... Um, Libra, Aquarius, and um, Scorpio energy about to get gang stalked. They could be masculine or femme. They could have Libra, Aquarius, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter charts. But I heard they're about to start getting gang stalked. I heard they never thought it would happen to them. But I heard it is about to. And I heard one of these people is going to get so aggressive, I guess, with the gang stalker or gang stalkers, and um, that the police will get called and it will get turned around on them. So... Even though they're getting gang stalked, it sounds like somebody's going to spin it around on them and it's going to turn around negatively for them because they didn't handle the gang stalking correctly. I was gang stalked for about two, two years, you guys, about two freaking years. It is not fun. Not fun. It is, it is scary. When people gang stalk you, they want to put you in a mental prison, basically. They want to put you, they want you to think it's your fault, one. They want you to think you're going crazy and they do it for mind control. And manipulation but it's all in how you handle it when it first started happening to me i was just like what the crap but then i started playing like not getting aggressive with these people i never got aggressive with them i did threaten to call the police on one of them and go get the manager in walmart one time and it scared the hell out of them they ran um but i never got aggressive is what i'm saying um like i said i did go get the manager for one of them um in walmart and it scared them so bad they left um, but I never got aggressive with them. But one of these people I heard is going to get so aggressive with one of the gang stalker or gang stalkers that's going to basically get flipped around on them. And it sounds like, I don't know if they're going to get arrested or what have you, but it sounds like the police are definitely going to get called. It's at, at, in a public space. Gang stalking is always in a public space. Always. Um, wow. You plug it in how it resonates. We have false person on the bottom of the deck. Number eight could be very significant number one's life. 
Number eight, it could be a possible age of you or uh, a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. Number eight, false person upright. These people, some are still very immature. And very greedy. But karma is about to boomerang back on them in a very negative way. A Sagittarius is about to start getting gang stalked as well. Oh, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, okay, so we have four actually. We have a um, Libra, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, and a Sagittarius. Libra, Scorpio, Sag uh, Libra, Scorpio. I, I can't hear. Thank you. Libra, Scorpio, Sag, and um, who was the other one? Um, Libra, Scorpio, Sag, and um, there was another one. Uh, you have to go back and check it, whoever the other one is. Libra, Scorpio, Sag, and um, the fourth one. Um, but they're about to start getting gang stalked. They're about to start getting gang stalked. And um, uh, one of them is going to get so aggressive, I heard it's going to, um, the police is going to get called. It's going to get turned around on them. And um, I heard these people are very immature. They're very immature, and they basically have not learned. They haven't done healing and shadow work. They haven't learned. Um, they're very false. They have lied um, on person, people, place, family, situation in the past. Um, and because they were secretly competing, I heard. When you secretly compete with somebody, that is immaturity. Just to let everybody know. When you secretly compete with somebody, that is immaturity. And that's just the truth. Um, I'm serious about that. So they're, they're false. They're immature. They're false. I feel like we need... Um, um we need the false person card i mean not the false person the uh, immature person card um yeah but definitely immature we have a privileged lady on the bottom of that so i feel for some of you guys i feel the energy is about to shift i feel you're either a privileged lady now you're either a woman or you're a masculine that takes on heavy femme how that resonates um but you're either privileged now or you are making your way up to be privileged. Like you're building your bank, basically. That's what I'm feeling. So you either have money now or you're go building your way up to have money or some kind of shocking series of chain of events occurs to where you acquire a large amount of money. Maybe you're a trust fund baby for some. Maybe you acquire money in a settlement, a payout, a, a lawsuit, something of that nature. Um, you're either getting there or you're already there. How that resonates. Um, number 12 could be a very significant number in one's life. It could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. A Scorpio masculine and an Aquarius masculine and a Pisces masculine is about to find out about all the people they have impregnated all over, all over the place. Child support is about to come in and come in and come in and come in and come in. They are about to be pissed. There will be nothing they can do about it. It will be through the court system. And these people have a lot of money. And these people that are filing for child support know this. Oh my God. Wow. This is getting so juicy. Holy crap. I was about to close it. Okay. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so, ooh, an Aquarius masculine, a Scorpio masculine, and a Pisces masculine, I heard. So, at least three masculine energies out in the universe. You could be the ones about to file child support on these people, um, is what I'm feeling. You could be the ones about to file child support. You have child or children by these people, but you have not collected legal child support, basically, through the court system. Um, and you should. You absolutely should. It protects you and your kid or kids. Um, absolutely. I encourage that. Absolutely. Um, I believe you should protect yourself and your children. Um, just because they're the father of your children and you're not with whoever you uh, these people are, I don't feel you're with them. I heard they have a lot of money. So 
I mean, they they have a lot of money. They're wealthy, but you know they're wealthy. I think you were afraid in the past to fight, uh, file for child support, but maybe there's been some kind of blackmail energy that's been lifted in some shape, form, or fashion, or you just gotten strength inside yourself to go do it. Um, and it's very smart to do so, um, absolutely, because, you know, child support ba go, is based off income. So absolutely, um, yeah. Um, but I heard, I feel... This message might be for the people about to file for child support, or it might be for these people. Um, they either made their money legally or illegally or a combination of both. I don't know how, I didn't hear how they, uh, I didn't hear how they hurt, um, I didn't hear how they made their money, but they do have a lot of it. It's a Scorpio masculine, a um, Pisces masculine, and Aquarius masculine, but they have, I heard many children out in the universe, basically. They have many kids by many people, basically. It sounds like many baby mamas, and I mean, I'm just serious. Um, I feel some of these people were wealthy and affluent, but um, I think they were bullying the people they were impregnating, or they made the people they were impregnating feel less than, like they couldn't file child support. But at least one of you guys has already filed in the universe on one of these people, and I heard several more of you guys are about to. It is about to start rushing in in the court system in a huge way. It is about to piss these people off in a huge way. Oh my Lord, I heard it's about to start rushing in in the court system in a huge way. It's about to piss these people off in a huge way. So they don't want it made known public, basically, legally, that um, that they have all these kids everywhere. But it's your right as the um, ch the children's mother, whoever you are, Fib Energies over here, that's about to do this, to do it. I don't care if you're not married to them or not. You should get child support from them. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Um, my hat's off to you. Kudos. Absolutely. You should. Um, I, I like you guys. I'm just saying I like you guys a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, because you're standing up for yourself and your child or children. Um, you're not letting these rich, because they're basically rich, rich buttheads bully you, basically. Um, you're doing what's best for yourself and your child or children. And absolutely. Absolutely. You go with your bad self. Um, that's awesome. I heard it's going to piss them off, but there's going to be nothing they can do about it. And it's about to give other people huge wake-up calls. And it's about to give other people huge wake-up calls. So it's about to give other people huge wake-up calls, I guess, when they they get child support requests after child support requests after child support requests after child support requests for all these people. But I feel they're wealthy, affluent people. Another Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. Feminine energy. Another Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. Feminine energy. So you're a fem Aquarius and you're getting a huge wake up call. Maybe about these people, maybe about something else in here. How that resonates, but you're getting a huge wake up call. You're an Aquarius fem energy. Maybe you're one of the ones about to file child support on one of these people, or you know these people, or you associate with these people or do business with these people, or maybe you're the one in the court system about to find the court ruling for all the baby mamas. I mean, I'm not sure. You Only you know your story, not anybody else, um, but you're getting a huge wake up call. I think about this situation or something else in the reading, how that resonates. But you plug in how it resonates. These people are rich. They're rich. But the people but you guys know they're rich. You're about to, you're about to basically get your justice in the court of law with child support. And you should. You absolutely freaking literally should. Um they could have Aquarius. Uh, they're all masculines, they're all rich. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, uh, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. Or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. Uh, which might make you the privileged lady if they make that much money. Just saying, just saying. Um, because child support is based on their income. Um, and like I said, I mean, trust me, I know. Um, my ex-husband, he is, um, he doesn't work. Um, and... I get very minimal child support for both of my kids. Um, but I never married him for money. I never married him for money. Um, now, we would divorce for a long time for strategic for reasons. And I would never remarry him. But I never married him for money. Um, so I definitely have not become the privileged lady off of child support. That's for sure. But it sounds like some of you guys might become. But it sounds like you deserve it. It sounds like you deserve it because it sounds like these people are bullies. They're bullies. And they love sex. And they love to bully people into sex. So much so they've got our children all over the universe. So children. And I was doing, I did a reading about um, a week ago or so about all these wealthy masculine energies about to find out about all these people they impregnated all over the freaking universe. 
one person up to five people at a time. That's a whole basketball team. If you might didn't know that, that's a whole freaking basketball team at a time. That's crazy. You might be one of these fame energies that's about to find out about this. And you're about to get your just due in the court of law and file child support. You go with your bad self, whoever you are. A particular Sagittarius is go was is going was going to try to fight a feminine energy on a lot of money that they have stolen from them, but through many shocking series of chain of events, they're going to receive communication from their lawyer's office that it is not a smart idea. They will end up losing a lot more money if they engage. They need to give the money back, and it, and very soon. Oh, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so a particular Sagittarius, whoever the Sag is, could be a masculine or femme Sag, it could be yours, might you're connected to. I heard they basically stole a crap ton of money from a femme energy. Um, but it sounds like they want to keep it and they want to fight it. Um, it sounds like so much so they're about to go to a lawyer, their lawyer, or a lawyer for a consult, how that resonates, to see if they can keep the money, but it sounds like the lawyer, they're either their lawyer or a lawyer they're about to consult, how that resonates, is about to inform them that it would not be smart, that they need to give the money back immediately um, because they, they would actually spend more money fighting it and probably lose than, um, than be worth it because it's not their money anyways. I heard it's not their money. They stole the money. So, I mean, hell, uh, they better be glad that they're not in freaking prison. And I'm serious about that. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. This lawyer will make a very strategic phone call after this meeting. Know this. Okay, I heard someone's getting a very uh, huge wake-up call. It could be the lawyer getting a huge wake-up call. Somebody else, how that resonates. But somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. But I heard um, the lawyer, whoever, I guess the lawyer that this Sagittarius is about to meet with to see if they can keep this large amount of stolen money, basically, um, which is crazy, just saying. Um, the lawyer they're about to meet with, it could be you, sir or ma'am, or somebody else. I heard it's going to make a very strategic, important phone call soon um, after they leave out of, I guess, the office. Um, so whoever you are, sir or ma'am, lawyer, um, you uh, I'm feeling you're a privileged lady or a masculine energy taking on them energy, lawyer energy over here. Um, I mean, you're a lawyer, so you make good money, I'm presuming. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but, um, it's about to go badly for this person. This lawyer is, this lawyer is mortified they even got involved to begin with. Okay, I heard it's about to go badly for this person. Um, oh my Lord. It's about to go badly for this person. This lawyer is mortified they even got involved to begin with. So, it sounds like this lawyer wants to wash their hands clean of this situation. Whoever the side is that stole a shit ton of money from a femme energy. It sounds like this, whoever you are, lawyer, you can be a femme lawyer or you can be a masculine that takes on heavy femme, possibly, because we're pulling out privileged lady. Um, or not. But, um, I heard you're mortified that you even got involved with this situation to begin with. And it sounds like you want to wash your hands clean of it. And that's probably why you're going to make the very strategic phone call after this person comes into your office. Um, they're either a current client or a former client or a new client for a consultation. However, that resonates. Um, but I heard it's going to go badly for this person, for the person that stole all this money. But I think you know this. You're highly intuitive and you know this lawyer, whoever you are. Um, 
I think you absolutely know that. But I heard you're mortified and embarrassed. You even got involved with the situation to begin with. And yeah, I, I don't blame you. I would be too. Um, that's good. I mean, I'm surprised you didn't. I mean, not it's very unprofessional to laugh. Um, but I would really have to keep a straight face. I mean, because that's crazy. They're coming in to ask, basically ask how they can keep the money and basically go after, legally go after the other person they sold the money from. I mean, how crazy is that? That's insane in the freaking membrane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. I mean, it is. It's freaking crazy. It's crazy. I mean, hi, I stole a shit ton of money from Blasey, 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 Blasey. I really want to keep it, and I want to place a lawsuit after him. How can I go about that? Lawyer, I'm sure you, I mean, if I was a lawyer, I would be like, oh my God, I'd be trying to keep a straight, straight face. Um, and honestly, if I was you, lawyer, I'd probably do the same exact thing, because I'd be washing my hands of that shit too, because that is a, uh-uh, that is, that's a dangerous situation. That's dangerous. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates in one's life. Whoever you are, lawyer, I didn't hear if you're masculine or feminine. You plug yourself in. I, I cannot hear. You plug yourself in uh, however you resonate. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. The lies have went on for way too long. Truth's about to come out in a community and hugely and quickly. Huge energy shifts here coming very soon and very quickly. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard the lies have went on for way too long in one particular community. Um, the truth's about to be exposed hugely and quickly. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, one of these lawyers is definitely going to expose some truth. Um, I feel whoever you are, lawyer, masculine or femme, that's about to do this with this sash that stole a shit ton of money and they basically want to place a lawsuit on this other person that they stole the shit ton of money from, which is cray cray in the membrane, just saying. I would do the exact same thing. I'm serious. That is dangerous. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. Um, and you're smart. You're, well, you're a lawyer. Um, you, got, you passed the bar exam. You went to all those years at school, passed the bar exam. You're obviously smart, obviously, and highly intuitive. That's exactly what I would do. Not that I'm a lawyer or work in the legal profession in any shape, form, or fashion, but that's exactly what I would do. And I'm serious about that. That is dangerous, dangerous. Um, so kudos to you, whoever you are. But, um, but I heard a truth. There's been so, so many lies in a community, basically, that basically the lies are about to come out. They're about to come out. Truth's about to be exposed. And I heard quickly. So it's about to come out soon and quickly. It sounds like people want to wash the hands of all this lying shit that's caused all this crazy shit. A sad um, acquiring a shit ton of stolen money that they're not even supposed to have. All these masculine, rich masculine energies with all these kids out in the universe and they feel like they don't have to pay legal child support, but they're about to get a wake up call that they're about to. And Aquarius over here, Aquarius Fem having a huge wake up call about these people. Uh, I'm feeling about these people, or it could be a wake-up call by anything else in here, um, that they're about to um, basically have to pay the piper for all these kids. And they should. They should. All right. A pregnant Leo is about to become very significant in a lawsuit. Oh, my Lord. A pregnant Leo is about to become very significant in a lawsuit is what I just heard. My God, they are flying in today. A pregnant Leo is about to become very significant in a lawsuit. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. I didn't hear what kind of lawsuit. Lord have mercy. We've been having a little bit of everything up in here. Um, we've had sexual harassment, we've had police brutality, 
police harassment. We've had um, Secret Seven coming back in. I mean, we have, we've had the most. We've had the most. So whatever kind of lawsuit this, she, I heard she's pregnant. Um, now, it, everybody knows I'm a Leo son. Um, I'm a Leo son myself. Now, this person could have Leo in any aspects of their charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mini, or Jupiter charts. Um, whoever this pregnant Leo is. But I'm a Leo son. But I I definitely ain't pregnant. Hell, I ain't even had sex in like, um, it's been almost three years uh, for me. So, it definitely is not me. <laughs> Um, but some pregnant Leo out in the universe, um, I heard it's about to be in the middle of a lawsuit. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates uh, for whoever, whoever this pregnant Leo is. If it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. But they're about to be in the middle of a lawsuit in some shape or fashion. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, man, they're coming in. An Aries masculine is very pissed off at a Leo feminine. Very pissed because their little games are not working anymore. They want to lash out on this Leo feminine, but it's not going to work. They're about to experience heavy chaos in their own life. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. And one of these Aries masculines is about to find out about a child that is theirs, confirmed with the DNA test. It is about to piss off his baby mama, one of his baby mamas. Oh my God, whoa, what is going on in here? Oh my God. Okay, so Aries, mas I, I mean, I was gonna close it 20 minutes ago, but we're still going. So, Aries masculine energy, you could have Aries in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mini, or Jupiter, Taurus. He apparently has two plus femme energies out there he has children with. I heard baby mama, so just saying, just saying. Um, wow. Um, I heard he wants to lash out a Leo femme. So, hopefully, it's not the pregnant Leo femme. Um, I mean, I would hope it's not anybody, but it's some Leo femme out in the universe. It could be you or somebody you're connected to, or maybe you know this Aries masculine. It sounds very toxic. Um but anyways, I heard he wants to lash out at some kind of Leo feminine energy. Hopefully, it's not that poor pregnant Leo femme energy. Uh, maybe it's some some other Leo femme. Um, but he wants to blame her for something. It sounds like the woes of his life in some shape, form, or fashion. But I heard it's actually not going to work because he's about to experience heavy negative karma in his own life. He's about to find out that basically he has another kid. He has another kid out in the universe, kind of like these rich masculine people that are about to find it out through the court of law. Except it doesn't sound like he's about to find out for the court of law. It sounds like he's about to receive it in person, a text, a message, a snail mail, something. Are with the DNA test proving it is his child. So, I mean, this person has went and got a DNA test to make sure it was his kid. And it sounds like it is. Um, I'm sure she's probably, if you watch, ma'am, and you're connected to this toxic Aries masculine, I hope you take his eyes for child support too. And I'm just being for real, for real about that. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh my Lord, this is so juicy. A Leo masculine that has been heavily, heavily, heavily involved with Human trafficking is finally about to be busted in a meth lab. He is in very poor health. He will he will throw other people under the bus. Oh my god, what is going on in here? We are just getting a little bit of everything. I'm just rolling with it. I'm just rolling with it. You plug in and how it resonates. So Leo masculine energy. He could have Leo in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, or Jupiter charts. Um, I heard he, um, wow, man. He, um, he has been involved in human trafficking in the past. And something, something to do with some kind of meth lab energy. I wonder if it's that secret meth lab that I was pulling in in Virgos. Um, just being for a pro. Um, I strongly feel he might be connected to that secret meth lab that I pulled in Virgos reading. And I'm serious. 
some kind of secret meth lab energy out in the universe. It, he either owns this secret meth lab, meth lab or he co-owns it or he helps run it or he knows information about it. However that resonates. Um, sounds like he's heavily connected to it. Like he makes the money off of it, the bank off of it or some of the bank off of it. But And he was involved in human trafficking in the past. Um, I heard he is about to be exposed. So one of you guys, I feel, is about to expose him. I think one of you guys knows about him or is finding out about him, and you're about to expose him. Um, you might be the police in this situation, possibly. Maybe you're the police uh, or an investigator. How that resonates. But how that resonates, he is about to be exposed. And I heard he will throw many people under the bus. So it sounds like he's going to he's gonna quack. He's going to quack like a duck. Um once you bust his ass because he doesn't want to go down by himself or he wants lesser, lesser charges, I'm presuming. How that resonates? Wow. Holy crap, man. This is crazy. Um, but that's good because it sounds like you might, I think you might be police or investigators. Um, you get him quacking like a duck, hopefully you can take the whole damn meth lab down. And I'm just being serious about that. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. This is, my goodness. In a Virgo masculine that works with the Leo feminine, they think they're hiding the fact that they, they are heavily connected to her ex-husband. But this Leo feminine already knows this. This Virgo masculine needs to know this. Oh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Whoa, hair is so juicy up in here. Wow. Okay, so Virgo masculine energy. So you could have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midheaven, Jupiter, charts. But I heard whoever you are, Virgo masculine, you think you're hiding the fact that you are very, uh, I heard you're very heavily connected to, you work with this Leo Femme, Virgo masculine. You work with the Leo Femme. It sounds like currently in the universe. You work with her. <laughs> But I heard you think you're hiding the fact that you're heavily connected to her ex-husband. So she has an ex-husband in the universe. So she's divorced or with somebody else right now or currently remarried, but she definitely has an ex-husband. But you are connected to the ex-husband in some shape, form, or fashion, Virgo Masculine. Um, I heard you, and you currently work with her. I heard you think you're hiding the fact that you, uh, so you think she doesn't know that you are connected to him. But I heard she does. She does know it. So... That's at least for one Virgo masculine in the universe that that resonates for you. She knows. You think she don't know, but she knows. So just let you know. You can have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter charts. You're connected to her ex-husband. You think she doesn't know, but she knows. It's a Leo film. She can have Leo in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, Jupiter charts. If that resonates, this is so wow. Oh, by the way, I want to say real quick. And we're 48 minutes in, but I'm just saying. Thanks, everybody, for all the um, PayPal donations yesterday. You guys have been blowing it up with PayPal donations. Thank you guys so freaking much, man. Um, I appreciate it. Just saying, just saying. Someone is about to be shocked as hell after someone receives a very well-deserved and large amount of money soon. They should have received a very long time ago. Somebody's about to be shocked as hell when they move out of their neighborhood very, very, very quickly. But they should not be shocked because this neighborhood has done nothing but abuse them in the past. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, man. Okay, so that reminds me of Secret 7. I didn't hear Secret 7, but it does remind me of Secret 7. So someone that was abused in neighborhood for a long ass time. They were abused in a neighborhood for a long ass time. Um, they probably knew they were, but they couldn't move because they didn't have the money to move. But I heard soon, and this could be you or somebody you're connected to. 
assuming they're about to acquire. Please use your inside voice, Gavin. Please. Um, soon they're about to acquire. I heard a very, very, very large amount of money um, that they should have acquired a long time ago, basically. So somehow they're about to acquire it. It sounds like they should have acquired it a long time ago, but they're about to acquire it now. But I heard they're about to basically move out of this neighborhood, this neighborhood that has abused them. Whoever, if this is for you, probably for a long ass time. Um, and um, I heard it's going to shock the neighborhood, but it shouldn't shock them because the neighborhood abused them. So, yeah, of course, the neighborhood abused their ass. Uh, they think they were going to stick around for 20, 30 years. Hell, if it was me, as soon as I'm able to get the funds up, I'm freaking um, smack. I'm boot scoop getting out of my neighborhood, too. And that's just the truth. Um, that's the truth for me. But it sounds like with at least another one of you guys, you're about to do it, too. So you're very smart and you're highly intuitive. I heard the neighbors are going to be shocked. But the thing is, why the hell are they shocked? It doesn't sound like you're buddy buddies with them. Um, most certainly am not. Most certainly are, oh, are not, sorry. Most certainly are not. So you most certainly are not buddy buddies with them. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I'm not, uh, neighbor, I'm not buddy buddies with my neighbors either. My neighbors are very evil and malicious. I know this. Um, and I love my home, but I hate my neighborhood. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. I love my home, but I hate my neighborhood. And my neighbor's crazy. And that's just the damn truth. So I feel you, whoever that's for. I feel you, I feel you, I feel you. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, I'm done channeling. I'm done. We're almost at an hour. Love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.